Wrexham at home on Saturday. First of all, just what are your thoughts going into it? It's a, a great game, great game to be involved with. Uh, obviously, they had a fantastic result during the week, so it'll be good for us to play against. It. Well, I think, regardless of what happened on Tuesday, the best team in the league. So, great game for our lads. Obviously, we come back off a good uh, victory on Saturday, so we're really looking forward to it. Training on the pitch today. How the team been preparing for Saturday's game? Yeah, we, we love Thursdays because we do we get to go on the pitch and it, you know it just makes that quality a little bit better. Um, obviously, going through a thing, few things shape wise and you know tactics, so it's, it's been a good session. Mm. 55 points now in total, um, surpassed last season's points total. Is, is that a significant mi milestone for you and the players going into the final two months? I think it's a great achievement. You know, we've got 12 games left, and to already beat last year's total is it's a credit to the players. Uh, like I keep saying, you know, they're the ones that go out and, and do the business, and they've been a credit to the football club all season. So all the praise and all the hard work and all the good things is, is all down to the players. Just said Wrexham, in your opinion the best team in the league. Um, what are your thoughts on them and the season they're having? I just think they're a really, really good, strong side. You know, they do everything well, really. You know, got a good shape, uh, good good players at this level. Uh, they all know their jobs. Um, and I'm a firm believer you, you are where you are in the league on merit. And at this moment in time, yeah, they, they, they're the top dogs. Yeah, and um, this will be their third long away trip in the space of a week. They've already played and beaten Haven and Bowen Wood um, so far this week. Do you think that could give you a slight advantage? Um, not really, because they've won the two games. So do you know what I mean? They, they do, they're on a, you know, they're doing a fantastic run, and you know, I, I, I'm sure the management team just want to keep things going. You know, when you when you're winning games, you you know, that's all you want to do. You want to keep playing them. Obviously, they get good support when they do go away, and you know, they've had some fantastic results, and it'll be up to us to make this a very difficult afternoon for them. And what threats? that Wrexham have will you be wary of I just think they're good all round Dom they're a good you know they do all sorts uh, all things good really if you like uh, they're strong they're solid they've got good individual players they know the system they know the style and you know we're going to have to play really well to, to get anything from the game mm. like yourself got a new manager um, both of you are unbeaten so far do you think that um Poses a sort of interest in matchup for Saturday. Yeah, it might be. You know, listen. You know, we're both new to the to the game. If you like, obviously, we've both been in the game a long time as players and as coaches. Um, you know, much respect for, for the manager. There. He's doing a fantastic job, and you know, it'd be good to pick myself against another good manager. Yeah, and uh, Brian Hughes, who just appointed one of Wrexham's longest serving ever managers, Brian Flynn, as his assistant. Is that a statement of intent from them? Do you think? I just think it's a good statement. Obviously, a bit of a club legend, and you know, very well respected within the game. I'm sure he's going to come in and help, and help the management team and, and be a, an extra pair of ears and eyes, and you know it's a good move from them. Yeah, and um, Wrexham and Gated, two of the longest-serving teams in the National League, now both challenging at the right end of the table. Do you think this could be the season that one or maybe both of them leaves the league in the right way? I hope so. Uh, I really do hope so. Um, but you know, I've, as a player, you know it was always a game that I wanted to play against. You know, they've always been a good side, and they've had some great teams over the years, and really well supported, fantastic, well supported football club, and, and a really successful one regarding tradition and history, if you like. They're really well respected, and you know it's going to be a good game Saturday. Mm, and if, on a personal level, if you cast your mind back eight years ago, this week almost, 7-2 um, win away at Wrexham. How do you reflect on that day? Yeah, it was one of the best days in football. Like I said, you know. To beat a team like Wrexham 7-2, it's it was brilliant. Uh, I'd much take a one 0 come Saturday. You know, like I say, we'll, we'll definitely respect them, and yeah, we're really looking forward to it. Mm. And uh, what was it about that day that saw things come together so well? Uh, we had a goal scorer in John Short at the time, who was who was on fire, and Nathan Fisher as well. Who I think I it was five one or something at half time. And I just remember every time we looked like scoring, every time we we attacked. Uh, I think they had a bit of a off the field issues going on at the time. I think the supporters were having a bit of a um, an argument, I think, with the with the owners and things like that. But on that day, everything went for us, and it, it was a fantastic day. And it's positive that Riggy goes into this game, your main striker, on the back of a brace last weekend as well. Yeah, Riggy's been brilliant. Uh, you know, every training session, he, he puts a hundred percent in. He's he's always committed. He's, and I was really pleased for him to get his goals because strikers, you know, you are judging scoring goals, and, and he got two at the weekend. It was fantastic. And it, it's a big game. How how important is it that? people in the region come to the international stadium this weekend and get behind you and the team yeah you know anybody even it's you know three or four extra we need it i think the players deserve it you know they've done brilliant all season and you know we know what we're against against you know the big clubs you know newcastle sunderland and you know if, if you're not going to a game this weekend we really appreciate it i know i would and, and the players would and, and the football club would appreciate it to come and watch 
finally, how's the team looking fitness-wise going into Saturday? Yeah, we all, we had a full set. Uh, JJ's had another week, so that puts him in contention. Uh, but, you know, fully fit squad of the players that we have got. We're having a few more of the under-19s training again today, which is great. So, yeah, we've got a, a full squad to pick from.